sidebar, okay? When I actually went to learn for Ball Lab, there was a seminar, and there was a bunch of different people who had different disabilities, and they were having a hard time, and I was really noticing Paul Lamb showed so much patience, you know, and they ended up doing okay. So, I mean, I think all it is is patience, you know? Okay? And I have to be a good teacher, too. Okay? Okay, so let's begin again, and then we're going to go into, we're going to open up, okay? From there. Ready? Up. Sink. And step. Push. Back. Open. Close. Take it. Turn slightly to the right. You're right. And then extend your foot and open up. Okay. And then come back. Now form an L. Okay. All right, let's go again. Up. Down. Take a step. Push. Come back. Open. Two feet together or one inch together. Open. Close. Slightly turn to the right. Take a step out. And open up. It's not this way, and we're not, whatever that dance was. <laughs> okay. Go no, straight. Straight with the body? Yes. Oh. Okay. 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 What's the application of this one? You really, okay. All right. <laughs> That's it. Oh, okay. So you can, okay, so you're stepping in. Yeah. You so step. The no. hand that you, the hand that you watch, is the hand that grabs. No, it's the oh, oh. The, the hand that hits. Oh, okay. So the hand, the hand. I can't do it to the legs. Okay. The thing is, is okay. Right here. Oh, okay. So the hand that you watch. But I'm using this. The hand. Okay. The arm that you watch is the arm that pushes, basically. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you stretch. No, but you also see you have to. The thing is, you stretch with the opposite hand. They're not dead hands. Okay. Do you yeah, feel yeah, that? Yeah, you feel yeah. that pull? Yeah. Okay. I pull because this you're turning. You're taking. Oh, okay. When well, you're jumping up a step, but the thing is, is okay. Okay. Forget about it. Okay. All right. Ready? There's too many side bars. Okay. Ready? Up. Okay, Nancy, I'm just with 12 on this time. Up to your left. Take a step to the right. Okay. All right. Can you show the application of this one? Oh. I know we're getting sidetracked, but I think it's easier for them to understand how this move is okay. supposed to work. All right. Well, this, there's a couple ways of doing it, okay? There's, you come here, okay, as you cross, you can actually cross, and then actually pull him this way, okay? See how I did that? Okay? You bring him here, come out this way. This is slightly different from the straight. See, the first one is this way. It's here, and just the whole forearm hitting in here. The next one is turning the person. Okay? Of course, my foot would be under, behind your right foot. Okay? Okay, so let me, let me show what, like what I, my explanation of this one. This one is here, and then if you punch with another hand, okay, 
that's here. You can do that too. Oh, okay. okay, so that's all right. Yeah. That's okay, well that's different because this one is okay. This is like a windmill. Okay, it's gonna be lost on that. Okay, here go. Okay, see and then cur curves. Okay, curves around. Okay, that's actually a detect. Okay. See, there's an attack and defense. But that's not what we're doing there. It is. Oh, it is the same. Okay. It's windmill. But you're going, okay, but we're doing more for health. Right. So when you actually do it to, uh, for aggressiveness, then it goes forward. You practice sideways, they do, it, they do it specifically, so people won't understand. Okay, I should mention a lot of stuff in Chinese martial art is done to fool you. They want to keep everything a secret, all right? We don't have to worry about that. <laughs> no we're problem. only going to no go for help. No problem here. I'll stay secret. <laughs> no, we're only going to go for help. No, because see, the thing is, okay, before, you know, we're talking about China when it was the Qing Dynasty. Uh, that was like, what, four or five hundred years? And it was very lot of law, lawlessness in China. All right? It's almost impossible to understand he who was strong won in China. That why, that's why there was the Chinese Revolution. For the communists, because if you were strong, you could get what you wanted. If you're weak, you pay the price. So the thing is, learning martial arts was a step for families, for clans to defend themselves. And at the same time, they didn't want anyone to know their true meaning. So a lot of stuff that they did, only they would tell you the secret, and you would practice it. But to the outside world, it looked very different. Okay? So the thing is, is but we're not into any of that. I mean, what I learned for almost, what, 35 years is <clears throat> what is martial art that was secret? All right? So I understand the outrageous secret they, they do. You know? I understand it. So I'm just telling you. Uh, but we don't need to worry about that. It's all health. Is really health. This is really good because it does the weight, the, the exchanges of weight, the exchanges of waste of, of uniting the upper and uh, lower part of the body. And those are actually more important. You know, because let's put it this way to use all that, you need a lot of experience. You know? And you also need something for, for power. The thing is, if you only did Tai Chi and didn't do a weapon, all right, the weapon not being important is actually the weight and the extension of the weapon that actually could actually extend your power. Okay, so that's why weapons are still done in uh, in the Chinese martial arts, especially in Tai Chi, they use the sword, and that's actually to extend the strength, to build up more strength. Okay, that's a real good, where, where is it? Where is my slipper thing? There it is. Okay, like I was showing you that technique, all right, stepping. So actually, the thing is, is actually step, Come around, take a step, push, and out. Step, push, and out. So this is actually a blade thrust and a slash, okay? But that's not important. What's, what's important is the waist. It's to extend the waist out, and again, extend and extend the waist. See how the waist is turning? That's the important thing. Because you're not going to walk around with a sword, although I can have a cane. No, but it's certainly not, certainly not going to walk around with a sword. Hopefully, we will never be attacked. <laughs> and, and actually, here's the other thing you have to understand. <laughs> if you're 70 years old and over, 65 and over, if you get fall down, if you if you get knocked down, nothing. You know, I don't want to say anything negative, but if you get knocked down, uh, you're probably going to hurt your hip or your hands, because most of the time people go up with their hands. They break the wrist. The collarbone, I fell down six, I don't know, eight years ago or whatever. Yeah. The collarbone. And then, oh, the, okay. Collarbone only needs eight ounces of pressure to break it from the inside. This will take a lot of force. If you're watching football, they blast. You get it behind or you turn it in a certain way, the collarbone is certainly very weak. And that's, you know, I hate to say it, but so the thing is, what should you train for? You should train for balance. Balance would be the most important. If if you were attacked, you would actually, you don't want to defend. You want to save yourself, so you want to have, actually have a balance.
that's how I look at it. 